Hey guys, Max Booming here, and today I'm going to be unboxing the HS80 RGB wireless Corsair headphones. Now, this is the same room you saw. I posted this video yesterday as of recording this, but it really should have been released a long time ago about my new laptop. But recently, my cats chewed through the cable of my old headphones. Which, so I mean... These aren't usable, and the mic also got broken by someone. These are Sadie's headphones, by the way. They actually worked really well. But anyway, I need to get new ones. So I did some research. Most gaming headsets actually have a surprisingly bad mic. So this is one that had a really good one, along with good sound quality. So I decided to get that. And yeah, let me get the supplies, and I'll be right back. Alright, so it actually looked like I didn't even need it, because if I flip this box on its side here, uh, there's actually a little tab. I don't know if you can see it with the red arrow, uh, but that lets me just peel off the... And then I... Okay. Uh, let me peel off this top. Now... Oops, okay. This tape is really not wanting to come off. Alright. Dang, this is... Okay, wait a minute. Alright, so I was managed to get it out of that thing right there, and it comes in this nice little box. So it looks like, you can just open it right up, it's got some things to protect the headset, and here it is. It's got the little packet of silica gel, obviously to keep the packaging. Here are the actual headphones themselves. Feels pretty nice. I know this isn't the flagship of Corsair, but it actually has the best microphone, I believe. Now we can also take off this top plastic to see this box down here. Uh, so here we go. It's Corsair box. I'm guessing this is for the charging cable because I got the wireless version. Even if the wired one is newer, I think having the option of wireless is better. Uh, sorry that I have to put the phone down, but here is the cable. It's nice and braided, so should last a while. I'm not. Sh I want to test as well if I can connect these um, to my computer using this cable. That would be interesting if I could. Um, we've also got the dongle. Or I don't know what else I would call it, like, a, it's not really, is it like an adapter? I mean, basically, instead of using Bluetooth, this device connects to wirelessly to this USB stick, which is how it's wireless. So, um, I think there's a, I, actually, I can test if this works on my phone. That would be interesting, because I do have something that's meant to be used for USB drives. That I'm sure would work. Oh, there's a cat hiding there. <laughs> uh, that's it for that. And then we've also got the instruction manual. Let me just unbox this really quick. I think this is an instruction manual. It might be more like a user guide would be an appropriate name. Uh, there we go. Okay. So we've got this one. It just looks like some information about the headset and lots of different languages, all the different button controls. This is actually a good page to flip to. We've also got a warranty guide, um, some safety information, and this little pan flip. Um, looks like about getting the Dolby Access app to work with these headphones, although it does mention Windows 10. And I use Windows 11, so I'm wondering how that's going to work. So yeah, this is all the stuff. Let's. I can also show some more uh, features of this headset. Like, these feel really nice. It's ear cups. This band can adjust, I think, on the inside. 
might be a bit hard to see, but if I zoom in a bit, you can kind of detach this Velcro down here and adjust it upwards, uh, depending on your head shape. Okay. <laughs> uh, and yeah, this mic as well, it can easily just pop right out, pop back in if it needs to. And we've got some RGB, volume wheel, power button. Maybe I should show these more off in action. So I'm gonna try to set them up on my PC and come back. So yeah. All right, so I've been uh, wearing these and oops. <laughs> so these are pretty good. I'm actually testing them on Discord. You can see uh, the voice meter going up and down. It sounds pretty good. But I don't know if I can really uh, capture that very well. And you can see if I use my volume. I'm only at 20 volume. So that's pretty good, I would think. Um, I can also show you some features of this headset if I take this off. So this is the headset. It's connected currently to this little dongle. But I did test it out. You can use the cable if you run out of battery. You can just plug this into your computer and use it that way. That's very helpful. Um, so yeah, these are the headphones. You can do this. You can see the light will change color. And if you, if I put my phone speakers right inside. So I don't know if you could hear that, but it basically will tell you if the mic's on or off um, as you do it. On the back side here, we've got an indicator to show if it's on, the power button, and the volume button. You can see as I scroll, it's going to change that volume, uh, although I've been leaving it at 20. Um, you also got the ski that's adjustable. Hey guys, this is a continuation of my Corsair video. So, uh, this is actually the Corsair mic right now. I've noticed that when I tried to record it, without being on my computer, I couldn't really hear it in the video. So I decided to come on here to show you what it sounds like. In my opinion, this is one of the best mics I've heard on a gaming headset, and that's partly why I got it, most, <laughs> mostly. Um, so yeah, this is just a mic test. I've also noticed that I can go all the way, like, across my house, and then only then it starts to break up, and I would think I have a pretty big house. Uh, I'm not sure the exact measurements, so I can't get, like, a, an exact... But basically, I went all the way from upstairs, um, like, say, upstairs right of the house to the downstairs left. And only then it started breaking up when I got to, like, the farthest corners. So, I would think that this mic is pretty good range for being wireless. And obviously, if you're using it wired, you don't have to worry about that. It does come with a pretty long cable. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. So, Max Booming, you're out. Well, I don't know. It's like Velcro-y. Um, I definitely want to keep this away from cats, like that one, because I feel like that they would try to tear it up, and I would prefer that they don't do that. So, I guess I don't really have much else I can say, except that these are very high quality for the price point. Oh yeah, they're $150. Um, also, just in case I ever post this anywhere or take too long, this is recorded on September 12th. And currently, if you go on the official Corsair website, you can get the white versions for slightly cheaper than the black versions. But I preferred the black because they go better with my computer and my monitor. Uh, honestly, I think the white ones also look pretty good. So if you got a setup with lots of white, you can do that. So it's like 150 for the blacks right now, 125 for the whites. And I think that's really all I can say. Uh, I can get a shot with the cat if you, <laughs> you guys would like that. Here you go. Psycho! <laughs> um, but yeah, that's kind of it. I guess I'll just end with the outro. If you guys like the video, you can like it. If you like all the content on my channel, you can subscribe. I don't know how many more unboxings I'm actually going to do. It's just because I've been getting product. <laughs> I've been buying things, and it seems like they should be cool things to unbox. This is actually kind of a review. 
Um, but yeah, um, that's basically it. So Max Booming here out.